Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex, and the topic for this video is uh, tantric resonance and tantric potential. Uh, this is the same as the idea of creating chemistry with somebody. It is the idea that when somebody has a high resonance, tantric resonance, and you have a high tantric resonance as well, it means that the tantric energy is already activated and alive inside of you. You will enter into a flow of energy that is going to link you with that person in very easy and natural ways. So this idea of tantric resonance is something that you can you know, check when, for instance, you meet somebody, a potential lover, a potential tantric partner, you can look at them and, and try to identify how high they score in terms of uh, tantric potential and tantric, um, how much tantric energy they have inside of them. When it comes to tantric sex, it means also how erotic, you know, how much erotic energy, how much sexual energy is already naturally flowing in your system. If you meet a partner who is extremely locked, extremely ashamed or guilty about their uh, sexual energy, very often it will take a little bit more time to open up and establish a connection with that person. Something else which is important as well, it is the fact that, uh, you know, so the, the looks and the, the tantric potential are two different things. Somebody can be extremely attractive physically, extremely good looking, but don't necessarily express the, the tantric vibration that is going to create the maximum resonance. And sometimes you might meet somebody with who you go like, you know, they're not, they not necessarily that physically attractive at first sight, but, you know, they might have lots of um, energetic and tantric resonance. And um, that's going to very often be a hit in terms of entering into a um, sexual uh, tantric relationship with that, with that person. So when you look at, uh, at the choice, the potential choice that you have, it's something to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> When, uh, when you meet somebody or you start engaging with somebody who already has a high degree of uh, tantric resonance, it's a little bit like arriving on the dance floor to dance the salsa and starting to connect with somebody who is already vibrating really high. So you enter into the space and start playing and start engaging and everything is going to flow in very natural ways because you have two persons who are already trained in the art of tantric sex. If uh, one person is trained and very active with lots of free sexual energy um, with lots of uh, resonance which is already activated inside of them and the other partner doesn't and eventually you will have to work a little bit harder to synchronize your your energies it's always possible you know but the question is how fast and how high do you want to to take that that experience and um, you know all the potentials are, are there i don't think that right now um, engaging with somebody who doesn't necessarily have the skills will be a deal breaker. No, you can totally go and play even with the, there isn't initially a high level of resonance with that person because it's possible that that resonance is going to develop itself uh, bit by bit. So keep that in mind, the idea of tantric resonance, tantric potential. You can also use the term tantric capital. It means how much um, tantric energy you have inside of you, how much free energy, free life force you have inside of you to invest into the tantric sex space. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.